Hi, this is uh, Pranay from Advanced Innovation Group. Through this video, I intend to help you understand how do you make the IMR chart. You would remember IMR or individual and moving grain chart is a type of a control chart which is used when you have a single subgroup of data. Go to stats, go to control chart, go to variable chart for individual. You can see the first option as IMR. Click that. Give it the data that you would want to study. I'm using C2 production data for my control chart. Double click, press OK, here you go. Now you have the control chart that you've made for yourself. If you see, the first chart is saying individual value and the second chart is the moving range. If you do not understand how and what inference to draw from these control charts, sorry, you are in trouble. You would need to look at other, other videos. Through this video, I'm only helping you understand how do you make control charts. In an IMR chart, if you were to add those eight special tests, those special tests will lie under the IMR options. Click IMR options, go to tests, and it gives you the other possible tests that you, that you may choose to add to your control chart. Let's say I would want to see if I, uh, if I have any trend in my data. So I, I've, I've clicked K points in a row, all increasing or decreasing. Press OK, press OK. It, it is now looking at trends also. If you can see within your data, you don't have any additional red points. All the red dots that you have, you already had these data. Uh, this is plus out, uh, when data has moved outside plus minus three standard deviation. Fair? So IMR chart will lie under stats, control chart, variable chart for individual and IMR. I hope this video is helpful.